What's going on, Panther Nation? Bill Mack here. Thanks you for once again for joining the uh, Panther Prowl, as you can see. Trying a little different setup here. I know my screen is a little bit smaller, but trying to mix it up a little bit. I don't always like a bigger screen. But uh, thank you once again. Sorry a little late with the video. Of course, I had to work last night, so I did watch the game, watch the finish of the game. But, however, I was unable to make the video. So dropping it to you just a little bit late. Hope you folks enjoyed. Uh, wow, what a game did we have yesterday. Our troops finally pulled it out. Our Panthers finally got their first win of the 2020 season after losing two straight. You know, it was a really good game, a really pick-me-up game from the past two weeks where our young defense really came through for us. They bend, but they didn't break. You know, it was a great game. Uh, I, I was really happy. There were some things they could have, you know, mopped up, which they'll continue to get better as the week has gone on, you know, but I was just so glad to see uh, the Panthers. And, of course, if you didn't know by the win, over here, up, oh, over there, well, over there, over there, here, there, right there, yeah, right there. <laughs> Got to get these uh, camera angles straight out. Um, the final score, of course, was 21-16. Like I said, uh, Panther Nation, if you would have said Joey Sly kicked five field goals and we scored one touchdown, we'd get the win. I wouldn't know what to tell you, but of course, um, there were some key things away. I'll give you a little bit of stats, a little, you know, a little, a little few things here of what happened in the game. Of course, our star of the game was our defense. Uh, our defense uh, had forced over three uh, turnovers, and those turnovers were when uh, to hear Whitehead, he had recovered uh, just quarterback Justin Herbert's fumble after he was sacked by Brian Burns. Brian Burns had a really good game uh, for us. And the uh, also we see that Shaq Thompson had recovered a fumble by Josh Kelly, which was another turnover they had. And finally, Dante Jackson getting an interception uh, by a Justin Herbert pass. That was brought back, and of course, all three, uh, two of them led up to uh, field goals, and of course, the uh, Shaq Thompson uh, forced fumble um, was led to a um, to a time pan from touchdown. Sorry if I'm a little tongue tied trying to get all this stuff in, but you know, it, it, coming into the game, I thought it was a really good uh, showing by our defense because our defense really. Had, hadn't really started to come together. They're a young defense. Like I said, you know, over the course of the year, they'll continue to get better. No preseason, you know. The chemistry will start coming in there. You know, no sacks. Only one quarterback hit the whole season. Uh, but coming in this game, they ended up getting two sacks, and they were allowing 65 points. So really, to only give up 16 this, it's a great feeling to be a Panther fan and see that defense so much promise. Uh, going on with it, and of course the Panthers, uh, you know, offensive line, you know, they did okay. Teddy was a lot better in the pocket, and he was able to manage the game better behind the line. Last week, it kind of fell apart. The line wasn't holding together, and Teddy was having a hard time, you know, trying to get the ball where it needed to go, but he did, he did well um, in the game. Teddy was 22 of 20 with 235 uh, yards, one touchdown. Of course, uh, Christian McCaffrey still out, may miss another game, maybe more. We're just having to wait and see on how his rehab, uh, how he's doing and resting, and you know, trying to, the, the, you know, try not to further injure himself. But Mike Davis and a slew of other Ridge Bonifon, even Curtis Samuel was lining up in the backfield, which was something to see. But they they kind of pulled together. Uh, Mike Davis, of course, led the way with running backs. He had. 91 total scrimmage yards. He had 46 rushing and uh, 45 receiving, and he caught a receiving touchdown, which was a screen pass for 13 yards from Teddy Bridgewater. Of course, uh, Joey Sly was our man. Um, he kicked five field goals, five for five. The, the thing I did notice is that once the Panther Panthers got into the red zone, they went five for five, but it was field goals. You know, they weren't, it's like they would get to the red zone. They were moving the ball well, 
but for some reason their play calling or, or what, or it was just the defense, but they would just tighten up and – Unfortunately, the Panthers were just settling for field goals. And you know, like I do, Panther Nation, I'll take six over three any day to the week. But five field goals, five trips to the red zone, that's something they've got to work on, that red zone offense, hopefully during the course of the week whenever they watch the film. But can't complain too much. Like I said, their defense kind of helped them out this week. They cut down the points in half. They played a much better game while they were on the road. However, we did have an injury. Uh, Dante Jackson, of course, went out with his toe during the second half and didn't return. Hopefully, it's nothing major. Don't have any update yet what that is, but you know, I looked at. It, but uh, I just was, I'm just so glad because the Panthers had been on a losing streak. They had the second highest losing, current losing streak. They were right at ten games dating back to last year. I think it was last November when I, I remember seeing on the on the the stat that where their last win was. And I'm just glad they're able to hopefully to turn it around, get better, let that defense continue to get better. Of course, this was uh, head coach Matt Rule's first NFL win, so great for him to get that out of the way as much as it is a bunch of players. You know, Justin Herbert didn't do bad himself. He went over 300, uh, 300 yards yet again back to back. But the Panthers only held him in check to 16 points. So that's good. They forced turnovers when they needed to. And I'm just glad they were able to do it. So that's a bright spot, Panther Nation. We can look forward to next week. Uh, and, of course, before I close out the video here, uh, we went, the Panthers will be hosting Arizona next Sunday. Scott, I think it's going to be an early game, if I'm not mistaken. But hopefully we'll be able to get to watching it and get to uh, get another win and, and pull it back. I know Arizona played pretty good yesterday, you know, but that's what we're looking forward to. But I hope um, you all like this video as I try to get these videos out to you. If you do, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment if you want, share this video, and I'll try to get, because I'm trying to get subscribers, followers, and things up. So, hope you enjoy your Panther Nation. And until the next time when I bring up later in the week, I'll get my preview show up, hopefully either Wednesday or Thursday. And have it in, have it up and for you to be able to view. So until next time, Panther Nation, this is Bill Mack with the Panther Prowl saying keep pounding. Yeah.